Alright, so you'll notice there's a slight difference in this video insofar as there now is now a, a bit of uh, uh, footage of my rather grubby um, desk, uh, which I've, on which I now have a, a keyboard to uh, to work with. Um, and this is the Oxygen 8 uh, keyboard that I was uh, pointing out in the last uh, video. And the reason I'm uh, using this and using a bit of video is because um, we're going to go over MIDI input and output objects, uh, input objects actually mainly for this, <coughs> and uh, um, uh, yeah, it's, uh, obviously this is the input device that we're going to use. Um, so there are a number of objects which you can use. We've already come across the note in object, so I'll start with that one. It is there. Um, <clears throat> but there are a number of other uh, input objects for Max MSP, and they they uh, uh, recognise different types of input. Not surprisingly, so we have uh, controlled input, and we have um, <coughs> bend in. Oops, sorry. Uh, bend in. Uh, we also have. I made a button by mistake. We also have um, programming. And you might remember that we've used notes out and program out uh, already to send relevant bits of uh, information to change the voice uh, or the instrument type or the timbre type um, on the internal MIDI synth. Um, Pre-GM in is unlikely to be of use to you, but uh, control in, bend in, note in um, should be. Um, just before I go on, I should. Uh, I'm just going to show you one thing, which might be. It's not something. You, it's critical for you to know, but uh, it's um, kind of useful to know. Um, there is also this MIDI in object, which uh, deals with generic MIDI information coming from whatever device you're using to send into Max. And if I can uh, connect that to the print object so that we get it, uh, we see what it's actually receiving from um, from whatever it is that I'm using to send me uh, data to to uh, to Max. Um, incidentally, what I should do is to double click on the object and make sure, yeah, it's coming on key station key station port. So we're all right there. <coughs> um, yeah, so if I press uh, middle C, um, what do we get? Well, we get three bits of information. Um, the f well, the the, uh, the second and third bits of information there um, might be familiar to you and would be particularly if I were to release the note um, and then hit it again, harder, and then release it again. Okay, so of those three bits of information, the two and three, um, hopefully you've figured is uh, the note number which is always 60 because I'm hitting middle C, and uh, a number which relates to how hard I hit the key. So uh, if, if I hit it, um, whatever, well, if I hit it like that, then I'm hitting it at a velocity of 124. Um, <clears throat> when I release it, uh, you might remember from pre previous tutorials, I've uh, mentioned that uh, Max, although it deals with note on and note off information, it needs, it needs to be told when to release a key, so to speak, um, that information, note off information is the note uh, number with a velocity of zero. Uh, so it will always be um, a velocity of zero when you when you release a note. Not, you know. And if I hit a different note, so a, a C below middle C, it's on 48 um, with a velocity of 90, release it and 48 comes out again. So if I hit a sequence of notes, so if I, um, all of those, um, then each one came out with uh, different note numbers, different velocities, um, and if I uh, release all of them now, they'll all come out with a velocity of zero. 